do you feel that uh, the team's getting on so far in the tournament? Oh, I think you know we're doing pretty well, as uh, Berkey said in his interview. You know, we uh, we maybe didn't have the the perfect first game, but you know, it, uh, teams that win championships find ways to win when they're not playing very well. We didn't play very well. We still got a scraped out a two-one win. Um, Andy Blakely uh, came up clutch at the end there. So you know, and then the last two games we've built. You know, the the second game against Newcastle. The guys improved, and then the last game against Bradford, the guys improved a lot more. You know, um, just you know, building on little things every game. So, yeah, yeah, really happy with the first day. I think, I think a lot of people expected uh, the Eagles. Obviously, they think that we're dropping down, and they feel that we're, you know, we're we're taking the easy option here. Uh, obviously, the first game showed us that you can't take anyone lightly in this tournament, and you know, this this is going to be a tough tournament to to get the win in. No, no, no. I mean, you know. We started off. There was a when we first said we we're going to come to a lot of guys like you know it's going to be a, not a great standard. But at the end of the day, the Eagles have never won Div Two. Quite a few of the guys that are playing on this roster have played Div Two champs before. You know I've played Div Two champs with Warwick, and um, you know none of us have ever won it. So you can't really bitch and moan about a tournament being a lower standard if you've not won it. You know you've got to win it first to have that right. Um, hopefully we get a chance to do that. But you know like you say we started off. You know, we we I think we were a little cocky, um, and we we had that kicked out of us in the first game, so we're, we're a lot more wary of all the other teams now. And uh, so, uh, how do you feel about the the acquisition of uh, Dan Tucker McKinnon, uh, sort of towards the end of the week there? Well, you know, Darcy was a, a last minute draftee. Um, I think full credit has to go to Rambo for that one for uh, for pulling him on board. Um, you know, uh, so yeah, I mean. Dan's obviously a, a great addition to the squad. He's maybe not finding the net as much as he liked, but he's certainly creating opportunities. Mm. Got a, you know set up Neil Ballack for his uh, goal of the tournament so far. So you know I great with Dan. You know great presence in the room as well. So yeah, yeah, really happy to have Dan on board. And uh, how how are you responding to the rumours that you've not actually injured your knee, but you went out to the car with no coat and you've got a sniffle? Um, well, you know, I'll come clean. Actually, um, it was. Uh, I, I snuck out to the car one night and I uh, I didn't actually put any boxer shorts on. So um, the groin area it got a little got a little cold. There was a bit of a draft down there, and um, you know, so unfortunately I'm not blessed with much matting. So um, you know, I did. Yeah, I've got I've got flu basically, and uh, the whole knee thing, the crutch. It's just just props. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, guys. I I kind of pussed it out on you, but you seem to be doing fine without me. So I think it's best all around. Yeah, thanks for that, coach, uh, and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Cheers, always. Thanks very much. Doritos. <laughs>